dear Aries, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of May with me, Queen of Cups Tarot. I am reading in the order of the sign that show the channel most appreciation in the April love readings by liking, commenting, subscribing, becoming members, donating and watching the ads. So thank you Aries for all the love. If you want to help out the channel without watching ads, you can become an extended member to the channel and get these readings ahead of time and ads free. And I'm also doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to the channel and personal readings for the full members. Subscribe and then check this out through the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. This will be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this is you, it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. And I usually read for the empath's side of the story within this dynamic. But also remember that the other person holds up a mirror of your shadow. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. I can also recommend that you watch the previous love reading for April because that is the energy right now and this will be the prediction for May. I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Golden Universal Tarot with Roberto De Angelis. Okay, so... When I open your deck here, I see Wheel of Fortune and the Moon. So it seems to be a, a time for another roundabout with facing uh, your fears, my dear Aries. So um, that doesn't mean that you are in threat in any kind of way or that uh, you are punished or that you will have a bad strike of luck. It just means that you have still unhealed um, issues that needs to be triggered and come up to the surface so they can be healed okay so i call the divine with love and light and here we have the four of wands with the moon in the reversed uh, so i actually want to take an oracle card to see okay i am lost without you so um, there's uh, someone here uh, that feels a lot of love for you, uh, but maybe you are unavailable due to you going through something, or maybe your loved one is unavailable, but they are going through um, like this little bit dark night of their soul. It's not a bad thing, as I said, it's a chance of healing. And many people are going through it right now because uh, Earth is also going to... Um, a purge or a healing uh, process where all the bad things might seem to come up to surface but it's only so they can be healed but here is someone that wants like the ordinary uh, life the harmony <laughs> the paradisic state of being in a beautiful relationship or beautiful relationships with other people and they don't want to deal with this darn moon thing okay so i call the six elements and here we have the knight of cups with the moon here it might be a nice offer someone that wants to go through this together with you uh, often <laughs> we are actually going through this simultaneously so while you're going through like your dark stuff they are going through their dark stuff especially in this uh, time and age um so it might not be such a bad idea and i'm lost without you so uh, better do this together then so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear aries viewers i want my dear aries to have love in their life and to find themselves in loving relationships also want you to have creative success and to be able to walk on your highest path towards your highest destiny. It's already done there. So I will just tune in for a few seconds here to you and your uh, the person most on your mind and your relationship in May. Okay, so this is the new bottom of the deck and we have judgment. So it's something 
uh, from the past, like these people, they lived their life in the past and now they're standing up in their coffins. So something from the past um, is going to be put uh, straight or uh, made all right or there will be a solution to the situation uh, is what I'm feeling, some old situation. But it doesn't, it's not going to happen without, it's a little bit miracle energy here with both the Wheel of Fortune and the uh, judgment but I think you need to do your part of this as well so it means not running away from your issues but actually facing them uh, okay and this is the old bottom of the deck and it's five of wands in the reverse so um, we don't want to have conflict anymore we don't want to be like hating each other or being on opposite side we want to find uh, some kind of uh, union okay uh, so uh, this is uh, what's on your mind about the person most on your mind. This is the situation with said person and this is what's on their mind with you. Your feelings towards them, the bond between you two, their feelings towards you and this is uh, your behaviors and attitudes, the outcome for me and their behaviors and attitudes. So we start with a situation and it's a queen of cups uh, in the reversed and so i'm thinking it's this issue this is cancer the moon is also cancer i'm thinking it's this issue we don't want to uh, face our more fragile emotions we want to be strong we want to be like living our life to the fullest live in paradise not have uh, a lot of problems or not let a lot of emotions come up uh, in us and ruin the day <laughs> so I'm thinking it's a little bit of a protest protest about uh, we don't want to be triggered we don't want to feel these feelings so we just would want to find a tap and close it off and this is um, uh, what's on your mind about the person most on your mind so ten of swords um, I think something has happened uh, between you two that makes you or well, previously you were angry with them, uh, but um, it's something, uh, maybe a forgiveness process have started. It's like the gravity is pulling the, the swords out of your body or they are falling out of memory. It's the, is this what's happening when, for example, a, a woman is having a baby and she says, I will never have another baby. This hurts so much. And then in one year, one and a half year, two years time, I would want another baby because then we have forgotten how it felt. Uh, so this is what I'm seeing with you, uh, that you are maybe in the beginning of some kind of forgiveness process uh, towards this other person. And here we have uh, what's on their mind about you, two of wands. It seems a little bit alien. Uh, maybe this is a person that doesn't have time for... Uh, you know, spending time with people that are sick or um, like they are ill or maybe they have gone through something rough in their life. So um, they're faced with maybe unemployment or uh, sickness or some kind of crisis. And, and here we see like this person just wants out. Um, this is what's on their mind. So uh, you might have a runner on your hands. Uh, we'll see. But it's, it can be a, the natural like thought of this person that oh, I don't want this to happen. I don't want to, this to be a part of my life. I just wanted like a nice time. Uh, and then this crisis come and they want to find a way to skip out of it. Uh, it's not very heroic, but it happens that we have such a thing on our mind. Uh, so this is the bond between you two. And we have a five of cups in the reversed. So five of cups in the reversed. I'm feeling uh, several different things. The first is that uh, both of you are trying to have like a, a kickback attitude to life. Ah, that wasn't so bad. Um, not crying over spilled milk, so to speak. We try to be positive and to not dig ourselves down in, in our problems. Uh, but sometimes that means we are not dealing with uh, the problems and um, instead of um, you know talking about the issues in the relationship we go out uh, having a nice time you know we go to a party or we go out on a dinner or we go to the movies somewhere where we don't have to talk uh, and um, 
and we can say to each other, ah, oh, that was such a nice time and we leave the problems for another day. Uh, and this is your feelings uh, towards um, uh, this other person. And we have a knight of wands. So it's very conflicted uh, energy with holding this card. It's both you wanting to run away from them because probably you feel that uh, they don't want to deal with the relationship problem. They don't want to deal with your problems. Uh, so you don't feel like they are really having your back. So you don't want to have their back uh, either. Uh, and it's another element. It's actually about being uh, brave enough to face our own uh, fears. So if there's no one there to kind of baby you or back you up, you need to be your own hero. Uh, so I'm more seeing your own emotions towards you in this situation. You probably didn't want uh, whatever crises might have come over uh, your head here. Um, but you surely didn't want someone to bail on you in that situation. But the good news is that you're not bailing on yourself here. Uh, and this is the other person's feelings. And we have a page of pentacles. So it's a little bit what I felt with the two of wands that they're not trying to be evil or uh, cruel or um, uh, like a bad person. They have good intentions. They're just a little bit uneducated. They don't, they don't know if they can handle the situation or if they could uh, really solve the situation or help you or if they would just be like a burden for you. Uh, and if they would say the right thing or the wrong thing it can be, for example, let's say that we have had a loss in the family and someone doesn't know how to comfort us. So instead they, they send like, you are their sister. Can't you talk to them? Uh, I will go out with uh, these people and, and, and get out of the way. <laughs> so uh, I can in, we feel a little bit inadequate. We don't feel uh, good enough to uh, put um, um, effort into the situation because we don't know what that effort would be. But it doesn't really mean that this person is, is bailing on you or giving up on your relationship or worn out. It's just they seem very insecure uh, on themselves. Maybe you have always been the strong one. And um, it can even be that you have picked up a lot of their problems and fixed it. And now they don't know how to do it when you are the one having uh, issues or feeling down or, or having the blues or whatever is going on with you. Uh, so, and on your behaviors and attitudes, and we have another great card here, nine of coins. It means that you are minding your own business. You can take care of whatever happens. You will be fine, hands-on attitude. Uh, this is nine. We have the, it's connected to the hermit card, number nine. But it's also connected to the moon card. Moon is 18, 1 plus 8, 9. Uh, so it means that when we uh, are faced with the moon, like it can be just, you know, we have a perfectly nice night and suddenly we feel something is off. You get nervous, you feel anxiety, um, life starts to become like it's darkened a little bit in the edges and you start to feel like, oh, what's wrong with me today? Why am I feeling like this? Uh, so it's the moon kind of um, pushing some memories on you. It can be that uh, this is an anniversary of uh, 10 years since you lost your dog or it can be, uh, um, it can be uh, just the plan is shifting and the energy is shifting inside of you. And now it's going to be time to, you know, deal with the old karma, tend the wheel, ten, ten of swords here. Um, and you just feel it. Ah, this is not, I am, yes, it's on a schedule in my destiny. I was supposed to deal with this crap here. I don't want to. So consciously, you don't know, but uh, subconsciously, you know, and then comes this emotion down on you. Uh, so then we ask why. Uh, so we are the hermit and we ask why. Why is this happening? How can I deal with it? And this is how, uh, how your action is. You are dealing with it. You want to have the healthiest, best life possible alone if necessary. This and a hermit can sometimes be a little bit of a singles energy, but it's self-love. It's taking care of your own health, your own body, your own home, your own life, your uh, finances, your uh, the things that means uh, like stability for you. Uh, so this is good, but it's uh, you're turning kind of away from this person that first turned their way 
uh, on you when you are a little bit um, emotional here because of something that has happened. Uh, so we'll see their behaviors and attitudes and three of swords. So now they are the one having pain instead. Uh, it might be that um, they were not really there for you when you asked them to in the past. And um, now they are regretting their ways that um, they weren't there for you. And now you're doing fine on your own. And um, this person is... Uh, um, hurting because of this because I haven't seen anything that you have done towards this person but oh, okay it might be that uh, whenever Aries is on a, in a crisis you don't let people in uh, you push them out and deal with your crap yourself because you don't want to be a burden for anyone and maybe you want to be the one that's always there aiding the other person but if you need help uh, maybe you are um, kind of ghosting them a little bit and becoming uh, really hard to get close to. So that might be why this person has this reaction here. Maybe they really didn't notice what happened with you. Maybe you hide, you were hidden it, hiding it, sorry, and uh, you never even told them that you were in pain. That's also a possibility. So you need to look at yourself and how you are reacting in this, um, maybe you're a little bit like a cat that runs away and hide when you get hurt or when you are down on your luck and you come out again when things like the sun is shining again, then you come out and being social. Um, and here we have the outcome for May and it's a six of cups. So six of cups, it's um, uh, reconciliation. I don't exactly know how this is going to happen uh, because... Um, uh, this person doesn't seem to have uh, much uh, power to fix things. They are a baby and uh, in pain. And you probably have power to fix things, but you are focused on your, your own self and your own life. So you are not fixing things. We can see a correlation though with the Six of Cups and the other cards here. Um, that whatever is you know, like the crisis itself has the possibility to heal past wounds. This is the second the second chance cards. Uh, so it means, for example, if you had, um, let's say you were born in a family, you got certain childhood issues. Now these issues is coming up to the surface, you heal them, and that is you getting the second chance. You're doing something better uh, than it was done before. Maybe other people did things in a crappy way and now you're fixing it. So they didn't take care of you in the way that you needed and now you take care of yourself in the way you need. Uh, so that is fixing it. It's um, taking the second chances and doing something great with it. Uh, so healing. Uh, but I can't really neglect the fact that it comes as an outcome for your relationship. Uh, so uh, maybe something else will happen here uh, that I can't uh, see at this point. So I will look a little bit more into what this other person would want to say to you. I can't handle one more heartbreak. Well, they seem to be doing it right now maybe they are not uh, feeling thrilled with this fact of needing to handle heartbreak here that might have been why if you felt like they weren't supportive it was because they didn't want to come close to their own pain and um, if they bailed on you or betrayed you in some way by not being there for you now they are faced with their own pain so it didn't matter that they tried to avoid it it came like a letter in the mail anyway i love you more than words can say uh well it would have been better if they had said some words uh, is what i'm feeling here uh, because it seems um, very mute <laughs> it's like uh, no one is really speaking here and if they could have said something instead of just, you know, doing some nice gestures, um, but hidden from you, like, for example, you felt like they weren't really there for you, but they were actually calling your sister to come and help out. So they did something and um, because they felt inadequate, they didn't know that you needed them and they thought you needed someone more equipped. Uh, so uh, I think this person haven't been able to uh, really put voice or words on their appreciation for you and that might be a big problem to why you are slipping apart here 
uh, and why you feel you need to take care of yourself because this person never voiced their um, their love for you or how they would want to be there for you or how they actually were there for you uh, even if it was in small small measures I never felt like this before so it seems like you are important for them but I never felt like this before again it comes like a person that hasn't um, very good skills when it comes to relationships because maybe they have a little uh, not so um, I, I can't say that they don't have a lot of uh, effort like a lot of um, experience with relationship but it feels like they haven't got uh, they haven't been a, become an expert because of it maybe people have asked too little of them or they have uh, felt too uh, helpless to really apply themselves so uh, it feels a little bit like they have very little experience with being there for someone else uh, in this way that you might have um, you might have needed in this situation uh, so um, it comes they come short they are lost without you so they don't seem very equipped to take care of themselves they can't handle one more heartbreak so neither your heartbreak or their own uh, they love you more than words can say they don't say when they love someone and I never felt like this before. They have very little experience. So and altogether, it seems like, a, a, like almost like an empty sheet of paper, a, a person where no, nothing has really happened to them, which have made them grow in a way that is, uh, have made them adult. It seems like they're like, oh, I just um, live here. <laughs> I don't uh, learn from my situations or I don't build on experience. I'm just, I'm lost. I can't handle things. I don't say the right things when it's needed and um, I have no experience. Okay. Uh, so this is your point of view here. Uh, you never wanted to hurt this person. Uh, so maybe you feel like you have asked too much of them in this situation. You knew already that they, it was... Um, uh, they were in over their head and uh, the cr kind of crisis that you went through was nothing that they have ever handled before and that um, uh, like spraying that on them that they should be there for you uh, was maybe a little bit over their head so you knew it uh, you didn't want to hurt them but you you probably want them, wanted them to step up or you know finally learn or get some experience but um, you didn't want to hurt this person. For me, money is important. We can see this here with the nine of coins. I think um, having money or having um, being an individual that can take care of yourself is very important for you uh, because then you have your freedom. No one can tell you what to do. Uh, you are not dependent on someone else to be there and help you because you have first you have a hard time asking for help and. Uh, um, you rather want to give help to other people so having a lot of energy having a lot of resources being able to hand it out and help people is what makes you feel good about yourself and in control and um, I think you need to work on um, being a little bit less um, in control and and sometimes be able to ask other people for help because as you said or pointed out here um, they grow by challenges as well as you do so uh, not um, putting any pressure on other people means they will never learn or they will never grow. I have a traumatized inner child and that can explain why we have the Six of Cups childhood past life healing of uh, past gruesome situations <laughs> card here. That you now have the, uh, the possibility to heal your inner child. And I think it's not by running away but actually asking for help. And uh, letting other people help you as well. We were always meant to be together. And the grass was always greener elsewhere. Hmm. I think you feel a great connection with this person. But in the same time you want to act like you don't really need them. That there's always something better out there. Let's say that uh, you are together with a person that's a little bit immature. They, didn't, they can't really say that they're sorry in the right kind of way. And they're doing a lot of crap. So they really would need to become an expert in that field. So you would want someone more mature uh, that could say that they're sorry. So you're always um, kind of degrading this person a little bit by, I wish I could have 
a friend that actually knew uh, how to be a friend or I wish I could have a boyfriend that uh, knew how to treat a lady or <laughs> treat me and um, and so that is what I'm feeling where the grass was always greener elsewhere. In the same time, you you have a lot of um, uh, attachment to this person or even love towards this person. Um, and you feel like it's like you asking them to be, you love them for something. I don't know. You love them anyway. Uh, <laughs> and But you wish them to be different. That's not really nice. Aries because it means that you don't love them for them you love them for what they could be if you raise them well or you train them well they are not your dog <laughs> okay uh, so um, we are with people we should really love them for who they are we can always have requests that oh, I wish this person could you know be a little bit reckless, reckless. so every time uh, they <laughs> borrow my car they seem to wreck it uh, but uh, that's um, that's something we can handle in other ways. We can, for example, put boundaries and say, you cannot borrow my car because you're a lousy driver. So end of story. <laughs> uh, so you really don't need to raise another person. You take care of yourself and um, you can put demands on other people like be there for me, help me. But if they aren't, uh, we need to accept that, that this is not a very helpful person. And either I love them um, but I maybe don't want them to be such a big part of my life since they are a little bit, uh, they have shortcomings. Uh, but I still love them and I will still invite them for um, the annual dinner with all the people I know. But I might not lay my life in their hands. Uh, so um, we can push people a little bit so that they can grow. But we, we shouldn't give them impossible tasks that they can never live up to and then kind of dangle over their head that um, there's someone else out there for me <laughs> that would be a better friend, a better husband, a better wife, a better mother, a better what, I don't know. Uh, it's um, um, I'm just saying that you should look on this a little bit. Uh, 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 <laughs> someone said in the comment section once that um, you can't go to an Italian a restaurant and order sushi okay and I'm feeling this is a little bit what you have been doing you have been praising that you are very loyal towards this person and I you are I am so much more loyal towards you than what you are towards me and I help you so much more than what you are helping me uh, but I would also f want to find someone that's like me more and I would want to ditch you um, so it's a little bit cruel, but it's totally understandable. Everyone has done it. I have done it. Uh, so I understand you. I'm just saying, look at it. Uh, you don't have to change. You can continue being in the exact same way. It's just uh, taking a, a conscious decision that this is uh, the kind of decision that I will make, that I will be with a person and constantly complain to them how immature they are you are right they are immature and they don't have much skills but um it doesn't help <laughs> if you point it out all the time uh, encouragement works too so this is the um, divine uh, what the divine thinks about the potential of this relationship and we have passion and worth waiting for uh, so they think this person can be a well-equipped person with time. Um, yeah, that's basically what I see. I see you have um, probably fun together with a passion card. Worth waiting for. It means that they have the potential of growing up. But not with you being all hot and cold. Like being there for them and helping them. And as soon as they can't you know, live up to your expectations. You say, ah, I can take care of myself. You don't have to call me any, ever no more. Uh, so you need to be a little bit more consistent and less um, maybe this big reaction back and forth. So this is what they would want to tell you from your, their soul. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So with two waiting cards, um, I think... Um, just uh, maybe stop the complaint towards this person. You're taking very good care of yourself anyway. And work more on uh, yourself. Uh, for example, how good are you on asking for help? And um, uh, also, 
uh, can you let go of control a little bit more? So work on yourself with these issues. And then I think a lot of the issues with this person might actually go away because you are not trying to control the situation anymore. Uh, you don't have too high expectations on people that can't ever meet up to them because you have learned to love yourself so you can take care of yourself. You don't need other people to jump as high as you say that they need to jump. Um, so this can be a very healing moment, actually, and you can put a lot of things uh, straight uh, in your mind <laughs> with uh, uh, this opportunity that has come here uh, to show itself for you through a little bit of a crisis or a big crisis. So I will take from Power Foot cards and see the advice for you. Life is simple and easy. Uh, this is the approach that you need to have to things. To not, uh, you know, things should be in this way, but they are in this way and I'm going to hate it. So it's better like, this is how it is and I'm accepting it and this is how I work around these certain issues. So all that I need to know at any given moment is revealed to me. I trust myself and I trust life. All is well. Uh, so let go of control don't try to change what you can't change like another person you can you know give them hints but you can't uh, live their life and um, try to be a little bit less um, disappointed uh, with other people try to understand oh this is how this person is and uh, this is how um, these kind of uh, requests I can have on this person and this will be, this other thing here will be a little bit hard for them to live up to. And this is what I need to realize. So it doesn't have to be so uh, disappointing to you when people doesn't live up to your expectations. So I would urge you to watch the reading, their true thoughts and feelings in the true thoughts and feelings playlist that will probably tell you more about this story or the reading, what do they want to happen between you two for your Sign. Jet planes in the night sky with you. Today, if you can't get enough of my readings on YouTube, you can now become a member to my channel and get access to premium content videos. There are three different levels to choose from. You can become a supportive member and get personal and spiritual growth readings for the collective. Getting high in the sunrise with you. The second option is to become an extended member where you get access to the collective readings from the previous level and you will also be able to see all the channel's astrological tarot readings for all the signs ahead of time and ads free. Getting through all the bad times with you. I wasn't missing a thing, no, I do And I wish that I could The third option is to become a full member where you get access to all the perks from the previous levels and on top of that you will get short personal readings from me every week It is very similar to super chat readings but here you subscribe instead of paying for super chats Time moves on And now you're gone Oh, if only I could build a time machine I'd come and get you There is a lot of other perks that's available for all levels as membership loyalty badges, custom emojis and other special features I'd come and get you I miss you, I miss you, I miss you all the time. I wish that, I wish that, I wish that. If you subscribe to my channel, you will be able to see the join button where you can learn more about the membership. You can also follow the link in the description box to check this out.
And if you are still not convinced that this is a good option for you, you can become a member just to support my channel and help me keep on doing readings for all the astrological signs. I hope you will join and we will have so much fun together. Thank you for watching this far. I'm sending you all my love and all my gratitude. <laughs>